In this video, I'm gonna bring you through a series of different questions and quizzes to test and see how good your ear actually is. My name is Dylan Andrews with EarTrainingForGuitar.com and I have been teaching for over 10 years and in that time I have helped hundreds of people learn how to develop a highly trained ear. And one of the ways that I do that is by testing people's ear through these different quizzes and tests that I'm gonna take you through today. So the way this video is gonna work is you're gonna hear a series of different intervals and melodies being played and you just have to identify what you are hearing, what scale degree or interval it is. And if you're unsure about what the difference between scale degrees and intervals are, you can check out this other video I made on explaining exactly that. The first way we're gonna test your ear is you are gonna hear a series of intervals and you're just trying to guess one at a time what interval you are hearing. So we're gonna be in the key of C. Now the key of C has these notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C again. But what we're trying to identify is not what notes you're hearing, but you're trying to identify the scale degrees, meaning this is the first note of the scale, the C, this is the second note of the scale, the third note of the scale, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and first. So you're gonna hear the one first, and then you're gonna hear one of these other scale degrees that I just played, and you're trying to guess which one. So here's your first example. That one was a perfect fifth. Here's the next one. That one was a major seventh. Here's the next example. That one was a major three. Here is the next one. And that one was a six. Here's the next example. And that one was a major second. Here's the last example for this exercise. And that one was a perfect fourth. Okay, so how'd you do? If it was great, then awesome. If it wasn't so great, then that's no problem. Now it's showing you an area that you can improve in. So now you know. You wanna get excited when you find opportunities to improve your skills, not discouraged. It's all a very key element of becoming really good at guitar and really anything. But now for the next exercise, you are gonna hear a melody containing three notes. So you are gonna hear the one being played first, and then you're gonna hear two more after that, and you're just trying to guess what scale degrees of the ones we've already been working through are you hearing. Here is your first example. That one was a one, six, five. Here's your next example. That one was a one, three, five. And if you've liked this video so much and found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos just like this. But here is your next example.
That one went one, two, seven. Here is the next one. And that one was a one, five, six. Here's the next example. That one went one, four, two. Here is the final example for this exercise. And that one went one major seven five. So if you got a lot of those right, then amazing. If you didn't, then that's no problem. Again, it's showing you an area that you can improve in. But for this ex ex next exercise, we're gonna do the same thing except for three note melodies, you're gonna hear five note melodies. And if you're thinking, oh, I can't do five note melodies, I didn't even get the three note or even the one note down, that's completely okay. You still wanna do this because it's still gonna help develop your ear. So don't feel like you can't do this next one. But it's gonna be five notes and the first one is going to be the one. Here's your first example. That one just walked up the scale. One, two, three, four, five. Here's your next example. That one went one, five, seven, five, one. Here is the next one. That one went one, three, five, seven, five. Here is another melody. And that time it went one, five, six, seven, two. Here is the final example for this exercise. And that one went one, six, four, three, five. So if there is some area of improvement that you could do here where you got some wrong, you got a lot of them wrong, then you just need to work a little bit more on training your ear, which is great. Again, it's an opportunity for improvement when you find that. And if you want some additional help with this, I have an online ear training course called Complete Ear Mastery where I go in depth on everything you could think of on how to train your ear, which ways, best exercises, how to transcribe songs, take better solos, everything that comes along with having an amazing ear. So you can check that out at eartrainingforguitar.com or in the description below. But I hope you got a lot out of this video. I hope you found it useful and I will see you at the next one.